another SPAC this morning that's going to attract a lot of interest. Rocket startup Astra announcing this morning that it is going public through a SPAC. The California-based rocket builder is combining with blank check company uh, Pelocity, which is uh, sponsored by Pendrel Corporations, led by Craig McCraw. Previous uh, major investors in the company include Mark Benioff and Eric Schmidt. The implied enterprise value from the transaction is $2.1 billion, and it's expected to close in the second quarter. Joining us right now, first on CNBC to talk all about it, is Astra founder, chairman, and CEO Chris Kemp. Good morning to you. Uh, congratulations uh, on effectively going public uh, through this SPAC vehicle. Um, investors are now going to have an opportunity to buy in uh, to Astra more broadly. The question I would ask you is, as, as investors think about this space, um, and um, there's a double entendre there, as you, you can tell, how do you think they should think about what you're doing compared to where SpaceX is, for example, or where a, a Virgin Galactic is, for example, given that those are sort of two of the most um, widely understood, to the extent that they're even understood, uh, businesses out there? Astra's focused on the Earth. We're focused on this trillion-dollar space economy that is helping connect our planet, observe, and improve life here on Earth. There's hundreds of companies that have formed over the past uh, decade that are building small satellites that are increasingly providing new capabilities in low Earth orbit. We're entirely focused on, on this market to enable this new wave of innovation around Earth to uh, help improve, uh, improve our planet. So you want to be doing daily launches, as I, as I understand it, uh, starting by 2025. Um, we just reported uh, that uh, SpaceX is hoping to uh, have some, uh, man, you know, putting people uh, into space literally this year. How do you think about the, the, the competition right now and, and those that are out there uh, that appear to have a, a front, uh, uh, appear to be ahead? Well, SpaceX has giant rockets, and, and with the Falcon 9 and the Starship, it is by far uh, the most efficient way to get a lot of stuff to one place in space. Uh, we're seeing hundreds of companies that want to get from anywhere on Earth to anywhere in space on their schedule, not wait years uh, to get uh, a lot of things to one place. And so uh, we're really focused on building a much smaller rocket produced in much higher volume, launched from a much larger number of locations here on Earth to serve this market uh, that is focused here in low Earth orbit. What if you could depend on a launch every month? Who do you think of as your competition? Every day. Well, there are a few companies that uh, we, uh, we really admire. Uh, Rocket Lab was really the first company to, to get to space a couple of years ago. Uh, while it's taken them a long time to, to increase their launch rate, uh, we're planning on getting to monthly launch cadence later this year and uh, really quickly scaling uh, from weekly, biweekly, up to daily launches starting as early as 2025. Can you speak to just the SPAC phenomenon? It's something I think we're all trying to understand why you decided the SPAC approach versus going public through an IPO. Do you think you could have gone public through an IPO traditionally right now? Well, I think what's exciting about this transaction is the speed with which we're able to uh, bring the company. We we just achieved our first um, orbital capability uh, a few weeks ago, back at the end of December. The company was only formed back in 2016, and the velocity with which we've been able to form the company, build, and iterate uh, implies that uh, you know the we have 150 million dollars of revenue, over 50 launches already booked. Uh, this was the fastest way for us to not only uh, raise over half a billion dollars of capital, but also reach public markets. And so it's in line with our, our values, which is let's take the most efficient path here. And uh, SPACs, I think, are a fantastic way to combine that last later stage financing and access to public markets in one big transaction. And that's what we've been able to do here. How, how quickly should investors be able to measure your success? Because this seems to me to be a much longer term bet uh, for investors than a lot of other types of businesses? Well, we'll be putting our first commercial payload uh, in orbit this summer. And then uh, later this year, we'll begin monthly launch operations. And so I think uh, investors will see uh, Astra will execute this year like we executed last year and the year before um, with, a, with a ferocious 
focus on our customers. And we, we again, we have over 50 launches already under contract. So we're going to be working uh, very hard to begin delivering for our customers and uh, and really increasing our revenues and and uh, building out the factory here and, and launch operations across the country. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.